My name is Sarah Stage and I came here today to do a lip lift. So years ago I actually had some filler injected in my lips and it was not supposed to be injected into my lips. I think the name is called Radius. It left me with a lot of scar tissue, which kind of left my lips like hanging a little bit. And it's always been something that I've wanted to fix. Sarah Stage came to me with a problem in her lip. The problem was that she had injected a filler called Radius and slowly this had caused thickening and a growth of her lip to the point where it wasn't moving anymore. So when she came to me, she really just wanted it reduced a bit and made it a little bit more natural again or a little bit more mobile. I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do this procedure for a very long time, so I feel very fortunate. I've heard great things about the doctor, and I can't wait to do this. The problem with radius is that it's a bony mineral, and it's really meant to be in the bones, not in the soft tissue. What happened in this situation is that it got integrated into the muscle and into the skin, and once it does that, those little crystals don't go away, and they're very inflammatory. So, as sometimes, just like with silicone and sometimes with fat, when it grows and gets hypertrophy and becomes little nodules or balls, you have to go in and cut them out. In her situation, because it's so diffusely spread, you can't really cut it out. So what we're doing now is trying to do a lip lift to correct the thickening and the heaviness that was caused by it, and then to do a little bit of a mucosal trim to make the area right here on the lip a little bit more symmetric. It's not always a one-stage process when you're trying to clean things out. The intent is gonna be to make the lip a little more delicate and to make it a little more natural appearing. It's gonna be hard to fully get it natural just because of those bumps that are hard to get out with radius. It's not like a classic scar tissue, it's fibrosis. Yeah, it's kind of what forms when people put in radius, it forms when people put in threads in the face, and it can form sometimes with Sculptra as well. There's an experimental medication that people are using called sodium thiosulfate. It's used for hypercalcinosis of the uh, hands when people have kidney function problems. And uh, they've used it in these situations to try to break up radius, but it burns pretty, pretty badly when you inject it. You gotta trust in the process because yeah. it's it's definitely gonna test your patience. So it's day five since I got my lip lift and I'm here today to get my stitches out. Um, as you can see, I'm still swollen and I have some bruises, but I feel great, there's no pain. Day one and day two were probably the hardest. For sure, I felt a little bit of discomfort on day one. Day two and day three were very, very swollen, like this times. I have pictures, you can see it a lot. Not even a filter can help. I'm so, so swollen. And then here we are, day five, and I know it's gonna take a little bit longer for the swelling to go down, so I can't wait for that and I'll keep you guys posted. So right now we have the numbing cream on and it's supposed to numb for a few minutes and then it stitches out. Thank you. All right, so today's Wednesday. Um, it's been over a week. I had my surgery last Friday. I'm gonna meet with Dr. Talay. All right, what so, you so Still swollen. Yeah. Like crazy. My husband might divorce me, that's okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're injecting 5-FU into the muscle of the lip to help the swelling calm down. 5-FU or 5-fluorouracil, it's a chemotherapy drug, but we use an off-label, similar to a cortisone shot. But it has less side effects than cortisone, safer to administer, and is less aggravating, I say, to the tissue, so it doesn't cause indentations or anything like that. In another week, you can start to exercise, and uh, you can pretty much do anything. Okay. You just slowly work your way into it. If you feel anything weird or swollen or straining, then just back off. So it's been three months since my lip lip surgery. The recovery was definitely a month of not leaving my house, but I'm so happy with the results. Like it has literally just been so nice to not have the filler, not have the scar tissue and just like new fresh start. It's just been so nice. I'm actually really happy and proud that I have the ability to tell other women and inform them 
of this procedure because there's a lot of messages I get on Instagram with women who are unhappy. They've just had terrible filler, botched lips, and they just feel like they look older. This kind of procedure is really helpful to women out there. Also, you don't have to keep getting filler. Once your lips are lifted and the space between like your lips and your nose are less, it just looks, you look younger and ah, I'm glad to be able to share it with other women. We're gonna have to rewind all the way back to 2001 when I want these luscious pouty lips. I even bring in a photo of Angelina Jolie and I go to the doctor to get lip filler. This doctor was so beautiful. She had amazing lips and she told me that she used this filler that was more of a permanent filler. I had no idea that this filler was not meant to be injected in your lips. Right after I got the injections, I was so swollen. My lips were hanging like this. You couldn't even see my teeth. And it was a nightmare. It wasn't until a few years ago that I decided to do a lip lift. And if I could do it all over again, I would get no filler and I would, I would get a lip lift because it really does help with the space between your nose and your lips, which makes you look a little bit more youthful. And then you don't have to get filler because it makes your lips also look more full. So 10 out of 10, I would definitely do a lip lift again and I really would have never ever done that permanent filler. That is what caused all of my problems with my lips.